Picture an astronaut performing critical maintenance on the outer hull of the International Space Station, tightening bolts, repairing solar panels, all while hurtling through orbit at a jaw-dropping 28,000 km per hour, that's 17,500 miles per hour, circling Earth every 90 minutes. Suddenly, they drift away, untethered, alone in the vast emptiness of space, floating helplessly. What would happen? Could they survive? Could they make it back to the ISS? Today, we dive into this heart-pounding scenario and reveal how NASA ensures it's almost impossible. If an astronaut drifts away during a spacewalk, the situation turns critical fast. Space is a vacuum, no air, no friction, so they'd float at a steady speed, maybe 1 to 2 meters per second, depending on what nudged them, like a loose tool or a misstep. The ISS, a massive 400-ton station, can't chase after them like a rescue shuttle. Their spacesuit is their lifeline. It supplies 6 to 8 hours of oxygen, regulates temperature, and shields them from the vacuum's deadly pressure. If they're only 50 meters away, there's hope for rescue. But beyond a kilometer, floating alone in empty space? The odds plummet. After about 6 hours, oxygen runs low. They'd feel lightheaded as carbon dioxide builds, making them drowsy. When the tank empties, unconsciousness hits within minutes. No oxygen, no survival. The suit holds its shape, so forget movie explosions, they'd simply suffocate. Their final fate? They'd drift, a silent figure orbiting Earth, possibly for weeks or months. Eventually, their body might burn up during atmospheric re-entry or float endlessly in the void, a relic of a tragic moment. Could they return? Without help, it's nearly impossible, but NASA's ready for this. Scary, right? But NASA's safety protocols make this nightmare scenario a near impossibility, even during complex maintenance on the ISS's outer parts. Let's explore the layers that keep astronauts safe during spacewalks or EVAs. Safety Protocol 1 – Tethers Astronauts use two steel tethers, each able to support over 1,000 pounds. One's always locked to an ISS anchor point, handrails or bolts. While repairing panels or wiring, they clip the second tether to a new spot before releasing the first, staying secure like climbers on a mountain. Safety Protocol 2 – Safer Jetpack If both tethers somehow fail, they've got a backup, the Safer System – Simplified Aid for EVA Rescue. This backpack has 24 tiny nitrogen thrusters, giving them 3 meters per second to steer back to the ISS. It's their emergency ticket home, checked before every spacewalk. Safety Protocol 3 – Constant Monitoring Mission Control tracks every move via suit sensors and cameras, even during routine maintenance. If an astronaut drifts a fraction, alarms sound, and the team guides them back. The ISS crews on standby, tools ready, to assist. Safety Protocol 4 – Rigorous Training Astronauts spend years preparing, training in massive pools that mimic zero gravity. They practice every maintenance task swapping batteries, fixing antennas, while handling tethers and staying calm. Over 400 ISS spacewalks, and not one astronaut has been lost. An astronaut drifting away during maintenance? It's a terrifying thought, but NASA's safety net tethers, jetpacks, monitoring, and training makes it a one in a million chance. Spacewalks keep the ISS running, and NASA keeps its astronauts safe. Love this cosmic deep dive? Smash that like button, subscribe, and tell us what space topic should we explore next. Let's keep chasing the stars together.